Do you understand lists in Python? Do you comprehend lists in Python? Do you comprehension lists in? No, that doesn't make sense, no. But that's what this video is about, list comprehensions in Python. It's an advanced way for us to make lists by shortening our code, optimizing our code, and making it more efficient by creating list comprehensions. Over the next 10, 12, 14 minutes, I don't know, but I'm gonna break it all down for you into terms you can understand, because that's what I do here on Code with Josh. Welcome back guys to another episode of, I just said it, Code with Josh. That's me, I'm Josh. I'm stoked to have you guys here. Before I dive into today's episode, do me a favor, head on down, hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button. That really does help me grow as a small channel and reach more people around the world, right? And I have a handcrafted Python and Git starter pack that I've made for you, absolutely free, and it helps you on your Python on journey and it even has list comprehensions in there as your go-to guide. It's the first link in the description. Head on down there and grab yourself a copy of my handcrafted Python guide today. So I'm going to try and keep this video short and tame today, but if you remember in a few videos ago, I introduced to you anonymous functions or lambda functions. I'm going to link it here. And if you saw that video and that helped you, drop me a comment below and let me know how that video helped you with lambda functions and maybe let me know how it's going to help you with list comprehensions. All right. But now we want to create a comprehension, right? And when we do basic operations in Python, like a for loop and then a condition to check something. I can do that in a single line of code. And it just, it makes your code more readable, more optimized, and more efficient, okay? And by doing this in a list, I can call that a list comprehension. We can make other kinds of comprehensions too, but this is the most common type that you've probably seen so far. All right, Josh, Josh, slow down, show me what you mean, and I'm going to. Let's jump over to the slides. All right, guys, just imagine, right? That's my visual, just imagine, okay? This is your brain, your brain is imagining what's going on. I don't know, okay? So imagine you have a list, Right, and you want to create another list that basically takes each element in the list, one, two, three, it squares the element and it takes the new value and it appends it to a new list. Right. This is a completely uh, basic Python operation. How we're visually thinking about it is, okay, I want to go through something. I want to take that something and I want to multiply it by itself. Well, you would be thinking of code that looks like this, right? If we broke it down to its true basic form, you know this, for every number in a list of numbers, I'm going to take a new list and I'm going to append that current number multiplied by two. Then, in this example, right, I'm taking this new list and I'm gonna add together all the numbers in that list, okay? So we can turn this into a comprehension too, which I'm gonna show you here, okay? That's what I want you to imagine. Now, going forward, right, a, a list comprehension is really just a shortcut for creating a list. And it's by describing what you want in a more compact way, right? Compression. Uh, comprehension. Those two words don't aren't the same, but <laughs> okay. Now, a list comprehension really condenses the process into one line. So, I have my original list. I have a list of squared numbers. How could I essentially take all of this, smush it together into a single line of code? Well, that's what we want to do here. This is a comprehension. What is the name of my list? Well, I have two lists, numbers and the sum of squares. This, you can see I've created a list, but inside here is our comprehension. It's all that code in a single line, okay? The first part is really what do we wanna do with each element that I'm passing into this new list? What do I wanna do with it? In this example, I wanna take it and, and I wanna square it by two. I wanna square the number, not by two, I just wanna square it. <laughs> Okay, and then it's followed by what data am I adding to this list, right? So I need to give my comprehension an iterable, right? It's a type of data we can iterate through. List, tuple, string, you get the point of what an iterable is, okay? So for every num in my list of numbers, I would like to do something with that num, right? That's, that's a basic form of our comprehension, 
So now let's take it one step further, okay? I didn't sum it in the last example, okay? But here we have our original code. I can condense that to a single line. I have my original list, okay? And then I'm creating the sum of squares. I'm using the Python sum function. Inside the function, I'm putting what do I want to add together? And I'm putting a list, right? But this list is a comprehension. Okay, so you can see everything we looked at in the last slide is right here. I start with this list and I get a new list called this. This new list is gonna be added together and that's the value of the sum of squares. Okay, let's take a look at one more advanced example, all right, and let's add on an additional step to our comprehensions. So imagine we have a nested list and you can see that up here, I have a master list with one, two, three child lists inside. Then I create a comprehension. I want to create a new list of only even numbers. And I want this new list to go through my nested lists and take all the even numbers and put it in this new list. So here's my comprehension. It's a new list. The first part is what is each element in this new list called? It's just a nickname. It's a variable that currently has no value. It's going to represent everything though, every element. Okay, then what data am I adding to the list? Well, I have nested lists. And so the first thing I have to do is I have to go through my initial list and then I have to go through the child lists, right? It's a loop in a loop. And then finally, I'm actually adding on what condition do I want to be met in order for this number to be added into this new list. That condition would go at the very end of our comprehension. Loop in a loop with a condition. Okay, that's pretty standard code for Python practice. It's just done here in one line. What might this code look like if we re-engineer this code? Well, before we re-engineer it, okay, let's take a look at what it is. So this is that list comprehension. If I literally translate that, which I love to do that with my code, that's what I do. I break things down for you guys, right? And if I do a good job at that, comment below and let me know what you think of how I break this stuff down. Okay, we first begin with our expression and then we have the iterable data we wanna go through and then optionally at the end we would have a condition or this is gonna apply a filter to each item that we're going through. This is what we put inside our new list or this comprehension. Now if we break down our original code, you can see that if I were to reverse engineer that, this is what our code was. Right, that's so much code, that's crazy. But, right, this is how I teach, right? It's easier to literally translate every line of code. If you're able to literally translate every line, like in this example, right, then you can put that in a comprehension, okay? So you can see that this single list is literally this, okay? So that's what, one, two, three, four, five lines of code, compressed into a single line of code. That is our list comprehensions. Now you've seen how we can take all this and put it into this. Now you've gotten to see visually, visually, list comprehensions, right? I've broken that down into slides. Go back and watch it if you need to, right? Comment below, which part did you find most helpful? Okay, now let's take what you've just learned and let's transition into VS Code. Let's start off with one we just did. So I'm gonna create a list of numbers. Okay, let me put some in here. And I wanna square the numbers, but I only want the odd numbers this time. So think about what we just learned, how can we do that here? Okay, so I'm gonna create a list called odd numbers, empty list, and here's the traditional approach. For every single number in all my numbers, if the current number is divisible by two and that is not equal to zero, okay, so it doesn't go into it an even number of times, I'm gonna take my new list and I'm gonna add that current number squared. That's the traditional approach you just learned and as a beginner, it's easier to do that, right? But now let's take that and let's compress it into a comprehension. What if I have another list? I'm gonna say odd numbers we can't actually do that because I already have a list called odd numbers. And let's make a comprehension. What do I want to do to each element in this list? Well, each element, which right now I'm just going to refer to as num, I want to square it. Okay, that's cool. I've done that. What's the iterable? What am I going through? Well, I'm going through a list. How do I go through that? For every number in all my numbers, 
What's the condition? Well, if the number is divisible by 2 and it's not equal to 0, that's the condition. And you can see here that I said num, let's say number. You can say num. I'm just trying to make it shorter for you guys, right? Or not really shorter, more understandable. This comprehension is the same exact thing, right? If I go down here now and I print off, and I'm going to say odd numbers, Let's do ourselves a favor and let's turn off this comprehension, run the code. Boom, there we have it, 1, 9, 25, 49, 81. Okay, let's turn on the comprehension. Let's turn off all the before code, run it again. The same exact output, right? It's our comprehension. There we go. All right, let's take a look at a slightly different example. So imagine that I have this list of numbers, okay? And I want to create a new list. And in this new list, I want to know if the element in the first list is an even or an odd number, all right? The first element in my original list is one. In my new list, it should be odd. And then it's going to go two, even, three, odd, four, etc. All right, so how could we do this traditionally? Well, if we take our original list of numbers, I'm gonna create a new list called answer. Our traditional approach is I would go through and say for every number in my list of numbers, right, if the number is divisible by two and that's equal to zero, then we're going to take our new list, answer, and we can append, and we could just append a string and say even, else, we are going to take our list and we're going to append odd. All right, that's the traditional approach. Now let's make a comprehension. This is slightly different. Let's come down here and let's create another list called answer. And let's say, okay, this comprehension, the first item is going to be our string even. That could be appended to the list. Even will be appended to the list unless it's odd. Okay, so that's why I'm putting it here. So even will be appended. If the number is divisible by two and that's equal to zero, then even is appended when that condition is true. Okay, Josh, what if it's not true? Well, else, else that's not true, I would like odd to be appended. Okay, wow, so I just took an item, even, that's being appended all the time if that condition's true. Else odd is being appended. Okay, what's my iterable? What am I going through? Well, just like before, for num in my list of numbers. That's it, that's our comprehension. Let's go down here and I'm gonna print off answer my list. I'm going to turn off our comprehension. Okay, run the code. Boom, there we go, odd, even, odd, even. That looks good. Now let's turn on the comprehension. Let's turn off our original code. Let's run it and you see our same output. That's incredible. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Well, there you have it, guys. List comprehensions. Now, you just remember, the first thing of a comprehension is what you want to do to each element in this new list. It could be a function, an anonymous function, right? Or it could be like what we saw today, like you take a variable, num, and you square it, right? What do you want to do to each element in this new list? Next up, you need to put an iterable. What are you going to go through and put inside your new list, right? So think of a for loop here. And finally, but it is optional, is a condition. What condition must be met in order to put that old element into this new list? Guys, if this is overwhelming or if you're interested in learning more, I have my courses out in the description down below. Head on down there and check out the courses I have for you that take you from zeroing to knowing all the way up to app development. And if you want to get my free handcrafted Python and Git starter pack, it's the first link in the description. Head on down there and pick up your copy today. And it has a little bit about list comprehensions in there to help you through your programming journey. All right, guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Code with Josh, all about list comprehensions. Until next time, I will see you in the next episode of Code with Josh.